we're measuring the sizes of particles here, what do we mean when we say size? Well, it's quite difficult to answer that one because particles aren't spheres. Uh, if they were a sphere, then you could easily just measure, uh, say, the diameter of it, and that's quite an easy thing to do. But because uh, particles in the sea uh, can be very complex in shape, they might be a little creature and have arms and legs, uh, they might be a plant and make a long chain or a spiral, or they might be a mineral flock made up of lots of little pieces all stuck together. Um, it's very difficult to then actually measure their size. Uh, one way that we do measure the size, we take a picture of the particle and look at its silhouette and then measure its area and then we convert that area into the equivalent diameter of a circle with the same area. Uh, so what do I think of a size? I think of orders of magnitude. So the, a seagull, for example, is, you know, if you think of a seagull, that's probably about 20 centimetres in size. And what am I thinking of? I'm probably thinking of its longest size or its wingspan, that sort of thing. Now, if we talk about particles in the ocean, they've got all sorts of shapes, um, but you can sort of put an order of magnitude size on them, which is sort of an average diameter, that sort of thing, I guess. That's what I think of as the size of a particle. Yeah, size is a really complicated one. Essentially, a particle has a shape of some sort, all sorts of different shapes, and we're interested in some sort of characteristic length. So it might be its longest axis, it might be its width, it might be some intermediate dimension, but it's some length of that particle that we can use to characterise it.